G'day, welcome back. Dan and Josh here from the Acoustic Centre, joined by a very special guest today. We've invited someone from the outside world into our undisclosed tone room. It is none other than Mr. Miles Jackson, CEO of Cole Clark Guitars. It's a thrill to have him here. Welcome, Miles. Thank you, guys. Thank you. No worries. Um, could we start by asking you a, a bit about yourself, how you came to be at Cole Clark and, and a brief history of, of uh, your time in the industry? 1979, started working in a retail music store and never got out right um, done all sorts of things within the industry different parts of the industry and all of that and you've been a Cole Clark roughly how long uh, since 2012 as CEO but shareholder from the start which is 2021 okay uh, 20, 2001 right it's a company that's doing some really great things what 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 excites you about being at the helm of a company like Cole Clark you can get up in the morning, you can make whatever you want. <laughs> you get to, to, to call the shots. Sure. Someone says, I think we should make this. And I say, no, I'm the CEO. <laughs> we get to make this. That's good. That's good. <laughs> um, we've thrown the door open to you today to talk about uh, anything you want to talk about. You've brought a few guitars in. Um, let's do it. What would you like to start off with? True Hybrid. Sure. Why do we call it True Hybrid? Because we want a perfect acoustic sound amplified and a perfect electric sound amplified. Start with a, an acoustic pickup, which is our normal acoustic pickup with all the things it does. Um, patented uh, three-way system uh, with a face sensor, a, a microphone, um, that's a face sensor by the way, mm -hmm. uh, piezo system, individual piezos under the, under the bridge saddle, very, very big sound. Incredible mm. uh, pickup system. Yeah. Mm. So we start with that, phosphor bronze strings so that you get a really good amplified sound. Mm -hmm. uh, trouble is when you put magnetic pickups on it, uh, those, those pickups don't pick up the phosphor bronze, they only pick up the nickel core in there. Mm -hmm. So when this happens, mm -hmm. it means that these four strings are really quiet, those two are really loud. Um, it's okay when you're playing a wash of distortion, but it, it doesn't work if you want to play real guitar. Right. So what we do is, is Paul Gale, who's just an absolute genius, um, who does engineering for us, he, he worked out a way of controlling the magnetic level of each pole piece. No one had done this before. Mm -hmm. This is about to go to full patent. It's up to patent, uh, patent applied for at the moment. Um, and, it, and basically we can control that. So the B string is 80 milliteslas. The, the G string <laughs> is a, uh, yeah, a new bit of jargon. We love that in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the, uh, and then 185 milliteslas on the on the G string, B mm. string, eighty milli Teslas. So very small Elon Musk's. In yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Tesla is is the uh, the measure of um, of magnetism. Okay. Uh, so uh, it means that you we play our guitar, Josh, mm. and uh, it means on the electric sound, it is dead level. Mm. Okay. Here we so go. Here we go. So this is the electric front pickup. Acoustic sound. Acoustic sound. And both together. So, uh, yeah, you. you good to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. It's a huge sound. In the room here is huge. There's so many ways you can use this. Um, you can use it like the Rolling Stones. You've actually got a Keith Richards shirt on, man. This is president. Um, it's good. Um, so you can use it like like they did, where they used to put a, a track down of, of acoustic guitar, have electric guitar going louder over the top for this big fat sound. You never hear it as acoustic guitar. It just makes this huge sound. Mm -hmm. Where you can actually just play that. Yeah, one I'll, instrument, do it. I'll do you it know. again quickly because it, it just does really sound amazing. I'll move to the middle pickup there. So, just the acoustic, just the electric together. It's huge. Yeah. Can we hear a bit of the humbucker by itself, Joshy? Humbucker by itself. Oops, sorry, switch it up. Blues Junior there. By the way, uh, lift the tone control. Yep. T uh, yeah. Oh, tone lift control. the tone yep, control. Yes, lift. And that, that a changes it series or parallel on the humbucker. So two different humbucker sounds. Okay. Now 
Now, the other thing is, put it in the first position, five away on the five, just, sorry, the other, um, yep. yeah, fourth position. Fourth, fourth position, position, yes. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, push the tone control in. Um, that has made the humbucker single coil, so that that and the single coil is happening there. Okay, so, yeah, so. So go back to the back. Yes. A little bit Mark Knopfler. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Very. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you can get it in two humbuckers, you can get it in three single coils, you can get this. Mm. The two humbuckers, a lot of people who dig in a lot, um, don't like that middle pickup, gets in their way mm. if they're acoustic background, um, then that's really nice, But you, and it's got a five-way <coughs> switch on it so you can do all the, the single coil stuff mm -hmm. as well on the humbuckers. Yeah, it's, go on, sorry. That's the bracing. So FE, FEA bracing, so this is a computer designed thing where you you put it in and say, what does acoustic guitar bracing look like? We did this with a with this FEA protocol, and that's what it spat out. We use this as the center block, yep. and it gives it a really musical sound without feeding back <coughs> and all of that. Face sensor for the acoustic, there it is. Something I'm always fascinated about with, um, in terms of producing, of manufacturers, how many, how many different versions of a model will you go through of something like this when you're designing a new guitar before you think you've got it right? Uh, look, it, it, if, you, if you think about it right as your lead up, um, you might run 10 prototypes. Mm -hmm. We might run 10 prototypes. Yeah. Well, if, that's not many, really. No, no. Yeah. Um, it's a matter of getting it kind of right mm. kind of thing. Uh, we've, been, we've done another project on some bracing and... Um, uh, we've probably all up run 40 or 50 prototypes over mm -hmm. a number of years on that. So that it can be like that too. And things can be tweaked as you go, of course. Yeah. Guitar brands but do tweaks all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we change things all the time. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I was just going to say something separate to what you guys are saying. You know, for years, you know, because I've been working at the shop a long time, there's so many people who have tried to do this. <laughs> and I've been, been sitting there with people constantly going, how am I going to do this? How am I going to blend that pickup with this pickup? I don't want to do that. It's like, you've fixed it. Done it. You've worked it out, yeah. you know? And it's nice to get on a guitar and go, it's all figured out. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't have to, like, get that pickup and this pickup and drill that hole and do this. And it's, and yeah. it's balanced. Yes. You know? It's an incredible yes. machine. And you, and, and these have these have flown out the door, haven't they? That is our number one selling product. That yeah. particular guitar, that particular yeah. pickup combination and, and scratch and, and pick guard and everything is our number one selling pick um, guitar out of all price points, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're selling it, you know, in, in, in lots in multiples into into the US, other and, and, and countries all around the world. Amazing. And of course into Australia. So so it, cool. it is huge. Yeah, and I mean, like, for just from playing it, like, it, it feels it's one of those things you'd think, oh, electric with acoustic. You know, so, sometimes your acoustic tone with a pickup, it's just not enough. Yeah. Especially if you're playing in a venue with a lot of mid range of people speaking or a loud venue, this has just got that extra bit of weight and it just cuts through. Yeah. You know? And it's, it, you feel like you've got a bit more weight as an acoustic player. And you know what? They're 10 to 47 strings. Yeah. Right. Okay. And they, but they've got a tension about them. Yeah. yeah. That they do feel like 10 to 47, but they don't. They've got, you know, I, I thought I would struggle with playing acoustic on it because it's just not heavy enough, but no. No, no. It's a nice tension, a really great feel, and and just that uh, the fact that everything's worked out, and you've just got those extra options for uh, whether you're on your low tone or in a band. Yes. You know? And the thing with a band is you get that usable volume up there. You know, yes. that yes. you can play against a drummer and a bass player. Yeah. You know? I mean, if you can switch between acoustic and electric, you can, yep. um, you, you can do looping. Yep. Um, Incredible. Yeah. Th this this product got. Um, uh, in the top 10 products for, for 2023 in Guitar Player Magazine US. Yeah, really that cool. is really like, cool. you know, unbelievable. Yeah, and it's Just nice that you've got, you've got that bottom end of a piezo, but you've got that cut and mid range of an electric. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's just incredible. And then. It's just amazing. And, and people say, look, yeah, well, well, how big is that market? What are you, why are you doing this? This is, you know, well, you know, no one else has really done a ton of business in this area. I could say, well, if you put your 50 guitar players in a room and said, who does not want to have a guitar that 
that it might not be the next guitar they want, but who doesn't want to one day own a guitar which is perfect acoustic and perfect electric? Yeah, yeah or who wants to take one not guitar to. to a gig instead of yeah. three? Or, or, or <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. it opens yeah. up other areas that, that are neither electric or acoustic that are just yeah. these other tonalities that people will yeah. explore. You yeah. know? It's like yeah. people build different guitars and then the music comes later, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. From such an instrument. So, yes. yeah. Very so cool. We should keep moving. What have we, what uh, we got? Onto this here, here so, instrument. So, yes, yeah, something new from Cole Clark. This is a killer as well. I'll, so, uh, I'll this is that controversial. Well, I'll actually hold on to it. Gotcha. Uh, should we... Um, oh, yeah, Josh is Josh is going to grab that. Yep. Um, Tell you what, Josh. So I'm going to break the uh, third wall here. Are you okay? Yeah. Beautiful. So, um, shock horror... Turn that, turn that down. And we'll just, uh, I can edit this little bit out as we do that. Gotcha. Cool. So, shock horror, we're making a guitar that's it's about 40% out of China and about 60% out of Australia. Mm -hmm. um, don't fall off your chairs. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we, we needed to be in that price point of, of $1,000 to $2,000. We can't do it from Australia. I don't think anyone can do it from Australia on an all-solid instrument, etc. So, we, we um, went to uh we, we do all the timbers in australia or most of the timbers in australia we then ship them across uh then it, it they assemble the guitar then it comes back um without any setup work done at all we do the frets we do the um the, do the nut saddle the, the nut height the saddle it gets plecked um so everything about it is yeah you know, all that quality control the plecking of each thing pleck is a is a machine that that dresses the frets to with yeah, it's just amazing. All top Serious top guitars. Dress. Serious, yeah. <laughs> I've, seen your, I've seen your plaque in action. That's yeah. the only one I've ever seen in the flesh, and yeah. it, it is unbelievable. Yeah. what it can do. Yeah. Yes. Can I ask you just quickly about manufacturing in Australia and what you're up against compared with manufacturing in other countries? Like it's it, it's a struggle, isn't it, doing it in Australia? Yeah, like down to everything. Right. Like you know, um, if we employ too many people. You get payroll tax. Uh -huh. We paid one hundred and twenty thousand dollars last year in payroll tax for yeah. employing too many people. Right. You know that's before we get. To, that doesn't nothing to do with if you make money or not. Right. You know, yeah. it, it is just really hard. So, um, but whatever the expenses are, it means that you've got you know, to to make a guitar in Australia for us. It needs to retail for about three 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 five mm -hmm. to be able to make a guitar. Mm -hmm. And 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 pay have it, yeah, pay the bills. I mean, that, and that's not that's just getting the, the the money back for that labour and all that. That's not putting any any real money in the bank. Mm. So you know, it, it's it's really tough. Mm. So suddenly we're up against a whole lot of other guitars from other manufacturers between one and two thousand dollars that are mostly made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So our Mexico is called China, mm. like, yeah. and and there aren't OEM factories that we can go to who who. We'd have to start our own factory in the in Mexico. Mm. It doesn't work geographically from us. Mm. Plus, we have a Spanish heel. So the Spanish heel build means that the you you glue the neck to the face, the sides to the neck. It's made like a Spanish nylon string guitar. So there's probably, you know, a million Spanish made nylon string guitars made a year, and they're all made that way. Mm -hmm. um, steel string guitars tend to get made the other way. Uh, People moved away from Spanish heel and steel string guitars because it took too long. Martin made their guitars with Spanish heel up to about the 1880s, and then they moved away from it because they were being left behind as far as speed of production. Mm -hmm. So they had to change. Uh, so, so we use a Spanish heel, and this is a Cole Clark. It's got a Spanish heel. It's got Cole Clark woods. It looks like a Cole Clark. Yep. It's inter internally very much like a normal Cole Clark. So the only thing is that we have changed the bracing. So we've said, w with our normal bracing, which is that, we go, well, what we want to do is to have the world's best plugged in sound and a pretty damn good acoustic sound and one that sounds really interesting and it's very different because of the Spanish heel. What we do with, with the, 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 the guitar half made in China, a dual nationality guitar, <laughs> is that, that we have this bracing. So local luthier Chris Wynn, he worked on this for us mm -hmm. and did many, many different prototypes. So we call this an XT brace. So it's a kind of combination of, of a, an X brace instrument with a, a, a classical guitar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We really like the sound of it. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's, we use that. Now, if you're gonna have something which is aimed at being a really good acoustic, you 
can't use the suspended piezo because it quietens the guitar by 15, 20%, 10%, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so we use a strip piezo, which is what most people use as the yeah. piezo. Not as big plugged in in the bottom end, uh, but it's okay. Um, yeah, and you've said that this that you think of this guitar as this maybe superior unplugged guitar, uh, and and the other one is the superior plugged in guitar or something. Sort like of that. superior is probably the wrong word. A yeah. different sounding. This is louder. This yeah. is louder. Now, yeah. and notice it. And some people kind of get mixed up with volume versus tone. Right. I've heard some great guitars which are loud and they're fantastic. Yeah. And I've just heard some guitars that are really loud. I don't know, like the tone yeah. of them. Barky. Yeah. yeah. So so. Um, but but yeah, so this is louder, and and it's not barky. It's it's a we really like the sound, um, and and this is made for someone who wants to play at home or the studio, and then wants to every now and then do a gig, mm. yeah. like you know, it might be school, it might be church, it might be um, you know mates. Oh, we're going to get together for a a a, 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 a knees up. Yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. We're super impressed with the sound of these guitars. Can we get a little taste? Yeah. We're only we don't have this close mic. But... It's uh, hard to get that across because we don't have a close mic. We don't mic, have a close mic. But it's in the room. It is. And uh, so so that's what that is. Um, uh, and actually coming down the track. So so what we... Our current Australian guitars, we, we actually call um, touring guitars. They're the touring series. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to now or in the future play, you know, semi-professionally, play multiple nights a week, play, well, one night a week, whatever, play regular gigs... That's what you want, mm -hmm. um, but but this other person who's sitting at home for six months and then maybe plugging it in, yep. well, they want something that's a stronger acoustic sound, yep, totally. but pretty damn good. Yeah, this this is pretty damn good plugged in, because yep. um, it's still got our face sensor, it's got the same preamp, mm. it's just got a different different piezo system. Yep. So um, sorry, I was going to say that we we have that those kind of questions in the in the shop all the time. It's like exactly what you're saying. One person, we have plenty of guys and girls that come into the shop who are like playing these things several nights a week, the touring instruments. Yep. And then we always have people who want that. Oh, yeah. Mate, I just sit on the couch and never play. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or I'm in but, the studio. Yeah. Yes, but you yeah. want that louder, you, you want that Cole Clark sound with the Spanish heel because yeah. it's a different sound, yeah, different yeah. character. But it's, it's full and rich, it's great sounding. These yeah. are going for a street price of roughly what, Miles? Uh, sort of um, yeah, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen yeah. hundred dollars. Yeah, killer Australia. Yeah, yeah. Right. Available in different timbers. Yes. Beautiful guitars. Blackwood top uh, with blackwood back and sides. Redwood top with Queensland maple back and sides, and bunya top with with Queensland maple back. So and yeah, sides. You've, you've cured these timbers before sending them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great, unreal. Okay. So got quick uh, time to, for a quick run through on this one, Miles, which you've brought yep. in just to show us. So in our three series, we do, and, and Master Grade, <laughs> we just do some nuts timbers because we're Cole Clark. And if we don't do nuts timbers, then people go, well, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you, you can speak to that. As soon as you put up on Instagram for the shop, picture of a Cole Clark yeah. and the timbers, yeah. what happens? Well, it goes Viral. crazy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people that love acoustic guitars love exotic timbers and Cole Clark are the king of the exotic timbers. Yeah. Yep. So this here is European maple. Um, uh, it, it is uh, so European maple is not like US maple it's a lot less dense mm -hmm. so it's a lot bigger sounding acoustically whereas US maple is you, we, we don't particularly like the sound of that acoustically but it's it's stronger in, in an amplified guitar mm -hmm. this is a little bit less dense so it's, it's a bit denser than, than mahogany but it's, it's in that sort of area mm -hmm. mahogany blackwood sort of area so European maple um, th this comes from the hills around Melbourne, right? Where it's a noxious weed, yeah. And so it gets pulled out by you know people, government, whatever, and then we turn into guitars. I love how you you always have these stories of the timbers and the logs that you find. Yeah. yeah. So Great. this this is this is urban recovery. Um, so they all come to us in the factory. We've got our own Lucas Mill, so we can cut those timbers up into into manageable billets. Yeah. This is a three series, so it comes with all the trimmings: ebony board, ebony bridge, yep, um, no, abalone. I'm amazed. 
Sorry, Beaches. go on. The, the, your ebony is always just so polished. Yeah. And perfectly shaped. It's just ridiculous. So this here, it, it, European maple, um, just in case you think, well, this is just a trash timber or whatever, whatever mm. that means. Mm. It's not a toned wood. Mm. <laughs> this is the... Um, uh, this is the uh, the timber that Stradivarius made his violins out what? of. So all those those 18th century violins were made out of European maple and spruce from the mountains in um, in uh, Italy. Wow! Yeah, you know? and so there I was thinking the... he was using moon spruce. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that is that is the same timber. Yeah, it's not grown in the same you know area and all that. Sure, it's, it's the same species. And do know. we do we know when this first sort of started entering? Oh, coming over here, is it? Oh, it was introduced, you know, um, 1788. <laughs> yeah, something yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so right back at the beginning, yeah, yeah, right. it was introduced. Let's have a so. taste, Joshy. Let's hear it. Close mic'd, just in the room. <laughs> just in the room. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So there it is. One. Beautiful one to end on. Miles, thank you so much for coming down. This has been a heap of fun. We'll have to have you back. Um, Cole Clark do so many innovative, fabulous things. We love stocking them. We love having them. Um, come back and do it again sometime with us. Thank you. Hey, Guys, nice. oh, tremendous. Joshy, take us out with a few chords. Done. Done. That was great. Yes, it was longer.